right, mate. Guy Martin is investigating how autonomous cars will move, see and think for themselves. Go on, boy. If they have no driver. We've automated a transit, but the complicated bit is how can we make a car see? Californian tech companies like Luminar think LiDAR is the best way, which uses a laser beam to measure how far objects are from the car. It's also the system favoured by Google, where the laser scans from a small pod on the car's roof. Their $1 billion Waymo project has already logged three and a half million miles of real-world testing, including journeys with blind passengers. Falling over. Hey, you need a ride? <laughs> <laughs> We are thinking of Silicon Valley. Here we come. Pucky your lip, boys. <laughs> hey, but no, no, we're off to Hungary. Hey, I've never been to Hungary, though. Hidden in the back streets of Budapest is the tech startup AI Motive. They've come to the conclusion that you can do the thick end of this car automation with cameras. At the moment, systems relying on LiDAR cost tens of thousands of pounds. But here, just six cameras totaling little more than 2,000 pounds do most of the work. The magic comes from the software used to process the visual information. Coordinated by chief scientist, Gergay Debreseni. But Gergay, nice work, bloody clever, spent five years working at CERN, a large Hadron Collider, looking for that Higgs boson. He wasn't the sweeper upper at the LHC. He was, um, he's, a, he's a particle physicist. Particle physicist? Physicist? <laughs> particle, anyway. Anyway, he knows what he's bloody doing. The kind of data analysis that we perform there uh, is very much similar to the data analysis we are doing here with the cameras and very similar AI-based, artificial intelligence-based algorithms. And uh, it was very easy to see how one can apply that knowledge in this field. They're not playing at it. They're not playing at it. Guy will now get the chance to see the system in action on a motorway out of town where testing is permitted. I was in with the safety lad, Voltage, I called him. <laughs> He's Jolter. Jolter, that's how I remembered his name. There you go. Ah, OK. Oh, just like that. Okay. Okay. OK. And I'm seeing what the computer is seeing. So that there, that is just depth. The yeah, red is, is the depth. nearest, the green is the furthest away. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. OK. okay. The cameras are connected to a computer in the boot, running a huge optical database. It means the system can recognise lorries, even if they aren't moving. You, you need that. You need that one there to pick up. Is it okay for you? Yeah. yeah. They join Hungary's M6 motorway that connects Budapest to the south. Guy is about to be driven by an autonomous car on the public road for the first time. We, we pick a big moment. We get it up onto the motorway, get it up to speed, press the button, and then it takes over. So go on, what should we do? F. F3, you can engage the... Are you ready? The, the self-driving mode, yeah. Okay. Yeah? OK. Look, that's it. That, look, hands off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's quite okay. smooth, it is quite smooth, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You look slightly nervous. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> <laughs> With more than one forward camera, there's always backup if one becomes obscured by mud or water, which Guy decides to test. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've always got to try and get it to crash. Back at the garage, the AI Motive car performs its last party trick, finding an empty bay and parking. Yeah, it's a strange feeling. Yeah, you've got the brake pedal though, haven't you? Yeah, 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 my <laughs> And it stopped the car. Hey, Joel. That's been bloody interesting, I thank you very much. It was really good. AI Motive think they'll have systems ready to be sold within five years. They also think the early adopters will be haulage companies. Self-driving lorries are already being tested by several manufacturers. 60% of the cost of running that truck is the driver's wages. So, obviously, if you've got a computer driving it, you don't need to pay him 20 days holiday a year, do you? You don't need to buy by taco law. The scale of job losses in driving industries could be huge. 
There are 285,000 truck drivers in the UK. In the US, there are 3.5 million. In China, there are 16 million. But this is fact. Over the past 15 years in England, over 800,000 people have lost their job due to technology, due to automation, computerization, all that sort of things. But technology has made 3.5 million jobs and better paid jobs. But there is going to be, when we say 280,000 truck drivers, yeah, there's going to be a lot of retraining. The most complex human function right. that autonomous machines must replicate is thought. This battery-powered drone is the latest device that has a mind of its own. It's an AI camera, an artificial intelligence camera. It's, it's learnt my face and it's just following me around. But you boys are soon going to be out of a job, aren't you? Come on, can you see? Come on, can you see? It runs on algorithms, the commands that underpin all artificial intelligence and are fundamental in enabling driverless vehicles <laughs> to move. I'm going to have a go at writing a bit of algorithm. Can't be that hard, can it? If I can get away from it, is it going to try and follow me? <laughs> Game over! <laughs>